Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. Our praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, now am I their song. Well, the Israelites have been beat down to an all-time low. No one take the Israelite man serious at all. And many of our women have been used as sex objects on social media and just dancing and twerking and just being on public display. And there's a famous quote, you know whether or not a nation has fallen by looking at the condition of their women. The sliding down poles, she had them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, you name it. So we have been just totally made into a mockery and a reproach. And many of our women, they're not shamefaced. They're looking at things as this is normal. So the Lord is going to undo all of this shame. The bywords and the proverbs. We are the nation's entertainment. We are their entertainment. Now I am their song. Yep. You got it. <clears throat> and then uh, that uh, that video was from uh, the big brother. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a one abod, right? He was spot on. You know, I sort of went into that yesterday. You know, I did a quick lesson yesterday, about 20 minutes or so. But I went into that. Have we been subjected? But we are what? The salt of the earth. The light. Let your light shine. And that's what it is. But the brother, hey, he was going into it. And he just sort of struck an accord at me because I've been thinking about this lately. You know, on how... Uh, Jake, what does what does Jake do? Go along to get along. This and that, blah blah blah. What for a little bag that are just crumbs from the masters from Esau Edom's table, man. Deuteronomy twenty eight verse thirty six. You know, like and, and you know and else like the brother said, you know, uh, we we become like toys to these people. You know, something that a little kid can grab off the shelf and just play with for a little while, and that's that. But there's a recompense for all these things that you've done, even to the two, two thirds that bow down to this just to get uh, 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 crumbs from the master's table, man. It's a damn shame. Deuteronomy 28, verse 36. The Lord Yahweh shall bring thee and the king and thy king, which thou shall set over thee. See that? Jake going around voting. You know, it's always these old Jakes, too. Trying to get the younger generation. We got to vote. We got to do. We got to march. You know, we got we got to do this. We got to set up black businesses. We got to we got to help our communities. It, it ain't none of that going to help. Only thing that's that's going to help us is when your big brother, Yahweh Shah, comes back and sets everything straight. The scripture said everything is crooked. The foundations are out, of course. But you what? Going along to get around, dancing around like Mr. Bojangles, Bentley Fosworth. You see, all up in these churches, you know, and that's all you niggas do. You don't you don't know the Holy One of Israel. You don't know how to serve. Uh, better yet, you don't know what you serving. A king that thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there, that, and Salakia, and there shall thou serve other gods, wood and stone. There's another scripture that said, even wood and stone. You, you have become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword. You know, you have. And you stay thereon. You love to have it so, as the scripture said. Verse 37. 
and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. African American, Negro, Mexican, wetback, Indian, which means savage, Native American. Uh, 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 you know, all kinds of different NAACP, C, 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 P. <laughs> it still has the word colored in it. Can you not read? Can you not see these things? Can you not see that they still have a perpetual H, A, T, you know, a, a, a E? Don't don't you see that? And, but they use us and abuse us. Even to the point to where we have created all these inventions. Jacob is the former of all things. And they use that and then put their faces up on it. And then put and then have that patent office open up and say, no, nope, we did it. We did it. You, did you know that? Uh, 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 what's his, uh, you know, uh, Hitler, I'll say it, had a, a, a photograph of uh, Henry Ford sitting right on his uh, on his desk. And he used, and Henry Ford was a raving racist, if you will, an Edomite. We'll just put it that way. You see, it's all these little things. All right. Verse 37 again. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword amongst all nations, whether the Lord Yahweh shall lead thee. He scattered the Israelites to the four corners of the earth. But you got these people over here in Israel talking about, you know, the, uh, the J-E-U-U-U's, just them. Where's the other tribes at? You don't fit none of these curses. That's why I started out in the uh, 28th chapter, Deuteronomy 28. All right. So let's go here because the brother was spot on. He was spinning. Look at this, this bug out. All right. Let's go here. Um, let's see. What do I want to get first? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention to this. Matter of fact, I, what I'm going to do right now is um, stay tuned. I'm going to play you all these clips so you can hear them and see them, except for one. Fellas, like old garbage guts here, done forgot the crow commandments again. Fellas, oh. I did not forget the crow commandments, please. Run them by me. Run them by me. Thou shalt honor all crows. Right on, right on. Proceed. That's just stop reading all bits of paper and literature. Trash, terrific, and the most important uh, one. Thou shall never, never get down off of this here pole. You, you got, got it, Clyde. All right. So what you just saw right there, did you hear what they were saying? Now, that movie uh, was the uh, it's called The Wiz. Right. And it had uh, uh, oh, uh, I call him Wacko Jacko, <laughs> you know, it had uh, Michael Jackson in it. Right. And it was called The Wiz. Now, what we just read, we have become what their song, a proverb, a byword and all that. OK. And they were talking about the tent, the crow commandments. Uh, well, well, I was, I was doing this and I was doing that. And, and he was what? Hung up on a cross. Did you notice that? Did anybody notice that? And he said, you must never come down from there. You must never come down. He you know, he's supposed to be the scarecrow, right? But see, he dancing around like Mr. Bojangles. They require of us a song. Sing us one of those songs of Zion, uh, Zion right? Do you see how they treat us? You remember Megan Kelly talking about shut up and dribble, nigga. We don't need you talk about politics. That's my job. You remember that? You remember all that? The crow. You, you must. You must keep the crow commandments. What the hell was they talking about there? Making mockery of their own selves, of their own heritage. The scripture said thou shalt discontinue from thine heritage. You see that? We become their song. This is Job. 30. Let's go. Let's go down just a little bit here. Who cut up mallows? Who who's who's the real cave beast? Who's the real cave animal? Let's, let's go to Job 30 and verse three. For want and famine, they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness into former times, desolate and waste. You see who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for meat. OK. This is I mean, this is crazy. 
And, and, and we have become their song. Don't you see it? It's all over the place. Hell, you got GOCC dancing around like Mr. Bojangles. You know, with that hat, just looking all stupid through, through Stu, right? At the Passover, man. And Jake loves that shit. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the clefts of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Cave beasts, that's all they are. And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh put the bases of men up over the Israelites, his children. His true silver and gold, the salt of the earth, you see? And that's why they use us for entertainment, period, point blank. They were children of fools, yeah, they were children of base men. They were violent in the earth. And now I am their song, yea, I am their byword. See that? You see that? What I am their byword, that's what the scripture said. Oh, I got something coming up here right now. Hey, stay tuned. Because the brother went into it and said, you know, he said, it's, we, we have become like a toy to these people. This is Psalms 137, verse 3. For they, for there, they have carried us away captive, require of us a song. You see that? And they that wasted us require of us mirth, saying, sing us one of those songs of Zion. And they sit yet to this day. I remember uh, coming up, you know, as a child. And uh, what was that show? Uh, uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, right? And you had all these Edomites. They're always looking at me talking about. Uh, wanting me to sing that uh, that intro song, you know, in West Philadelphia, what, you know what I'm saying? They they want they always wanted me to sing that. Why? Because they look at us as entertainment. All the bread and circus, even back in Rome, it's, it's the same thing. Those gladiators was a bunch of jakes, man, being chased around, ate up, you know, uh, 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 with their what they call their chariots, horse and buggy. You know, and, uh, uh, lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Then was Jake's. It's, 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 it's a Rome 2.0. It's the same thing. Keep them distracted. And use who? Use the Israelites. Use the Israelites. We've been used and abused in more than one way. Jake, I hope you can see this. I want you to pay attention to this. Now, it was this movie. And this is what this reminded me of. Ak Aliyah. Shalom to that, brother. The toy. Look at this. Let's play it. You can't make films alone. Oh, Salaki, so damn frozen, stupid ass ads. And ads are everywhere, here. right? This movie was called The Toy. Watch this. Watch this. You can't make this shit up, man. So when the brother said that, it reminded me of this movie, 1982. Come on. Look at that. You see that? I mean, it's not playing the audio, but you already get what this is about. Okay. Now, in this movie right here, uh, what's what's his name? Uh, damn, Richard Pryor. You know, he about got burned up free basin on an airplane. Yeah. See, he he became a toy for this for that little uh, Edomite. He he was a toy for a rich little. So what they they got a Jake as a the toy. See, do you see this? See, uh, see all these, all these, and this, this is still happening, even to the to the Edomite women, uh, uh, to the Edomite women, the, you know, the so-called black Latino Native American men is used for sex, sex toys. They did the same thing back in slavery, which we are yet this day in our captivity. Do you see this? Do you see this right here? All right, uh, all these different things, and and, it's, and nothing has changed. There's nothing new under the sun. He became he he became a toy and they had him in there wearing a damn maids. Look, look, look. See, he's a damn toy to this rich ass Edomite, man. Should lock right on to these people. But it did. It reminded me of this movie. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Our women have been under, uh, under sub subjection. Here, let's play this. Salaki, I know this is a little bit different, but I got uh, several clips. That I pulled up. Mr. Bojangles dancing around, acting a fool. You know, now you either like a wild bull in the net. Our women twerking. The, uh, the brother was going into that too. Our women have been subjected. Look, watch this. This is a video right here 
of a group called Outcast. It's a southern southern group, right? Look at this. He's supposed to be getting his car fixed, right? And what's he doing? What's he doing? Well, look at these. Look at all these women subjected. You know, I right? just keep watching this. You see this? All right, let's keep going. And I think I fast forwarded it because I wanted to show you something else. This dude uh, uh, called wasn't he named himself Bentley Fosworth, right? See, this is what our what this is what we we've come down to. How's the gold become dross? Yeah, check this out. Here we go. I'm not gonna play the audio. Here, look, look, watch this. See, what's the difference between that? What's the difference between all that? Let's 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 play it again. What is this? You know what that looks like? It looks like the black church, man. Straight up, even the women, the way they dress, all of it. See, it's it's all the same thing. Ain't nothing changed. Jake is through stew, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Isaiah 1 and verse 22. Thy silver has become dross. Thy wine is mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious. What? And companions of what? Of thieves. Thieves. A thief and a vagabond on the earth, man. Everyone loveth gifts and follow after rewards. Thy, uh, they judge... Not the fatherless, nor doth the cause of the widow come unto them. You see? They require, but sing us one of those songs of Zion. You see? This is, this is ridiculous, man. Even the Hamites call us what? Hakata, which means cotton pickers, man. Verse 24. Therefore saith the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, here we go. Therefore, saith the Lord Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, ah, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me on my enemies. So when he comes back, man, and when that new Jerusalem comes down, it's a wrap for all these nations that did all this. And we're not going to make you dance. We're going to make you slave away. I mean, for our entertainment, if we want to make you dance, that's fine. Some brothers may want to see that. We make you make you dance with a damn uh, uh, with a, uh, a bag full of cotton. You're picking uh, you're picking cotton at the same time, and if you don't do it right, you uh, you gonna have to bite the dust and come on right back. You see that? You see, verse twenty five, and I will turn my hand upon thee, and purely purge away thy dross, and take away all thy tin, man. So those in, the impurities. That is in Israel is going to be turned away and we're going to be righteous, man. Don't you see that? No longer a song. We're going to have rest. We're going to have rest. <laughs> the toy. I can't believe I remember that. But when he said we like when the brother said we we like toys to these people. We are. We are like toys. Shut up and dribble, nigga. You see that? If, if it ain't basketball, baseball, football, I don't know, soccer. Which the whole rest of the world calls that football, you know, which makes sense, you know, or, uh, you know, some some dumbass entertainment singing and dancing like Mr. Bojangles. With a with a suit and tie on talking about massa massa. Our house is on fire. Who's that nigga on that there? You see it? It's a damn shame, man. The gold has become dross, but he's going to take away all the impurities and make us pure again. That's why we, uh, uh, you know, making our calling of election sure and studying and staying occupied in these prophecies because we see these things coming. Hmm. Baruch 3 and verse 8. Let's go, damn it. Let's go. Stay a man. Keep the charge of your how about Shimmy I was shy. No matter what. We all got different lots or whatever. You know, uh, the elder Manat the Zakbar said something yesterday. And, you know, and it is a damn shame. It is a damn shame. He was talking about his camp. He, you, you know, he said, you know, honestly, it should be a multitude of brothers in his camp. I mean, he's, he's in a rather a big city down there in Myrtle Beach. It should be a bunch of brothers. But see, the scripture did. It goes into it and it tells us that the laborers are few. See, there'll be, there'll be few, few laborers, man. Okay. 
And he also said, you know, he said this, I ain't making this about me or nothing because there's other brothers in the same predicament. He said, it's a damn shame, you know, that a, uh, you know, a brother like Gabar Dama, he's talking about me, got to be up there by himself. It's, a, it's shameful, man. But you know what? Two of a city, or a, a, one, a, two of a city and one of a family. I think that's how it goes. That's what the scripture said. So it's our lot. No matter what, it doesn't matter. You got to stay on fire and keep the charge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because there ain't no stopping this truth, no matter what. So all of you that have become uh, 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 dancers and tap, tap dancing, tap dancing for Esau Edom, Mr. Bojangles, yes, master this and that, man, you getting ready, you going to hell. No, Salaki, we don't teach that. <laughs> I had to say it, you know. You and your sweet Jesus. Nah, man. But you're going to burn in that lake of fire, which in fact is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And that's that. I read this a lot, and I'm going to read it again. I don't give a damn if we sound like broken records. We must tell you these things that are getting ready to come to pass and these things that are happening right in front of your eyes. Huh? But you don't want to listen. You just want to tap dance and go along to get along. But all that is soon going to come to naught. Baruch 3 and verse 8, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. They, they refuse to let us go. Huh? Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. That's another cut to them 48ers. A reproach. What? And a curse. We did not start out in Deuteronomy 28th chapter. And it said, what? You've become their byword. See? You have become their byword. And to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord, Yahweh, our power, man. And that's that. It's simple. It's simple and plain. All right. Spoke about this before. Let's read it. Shut up and dribble. <laughs> Gives a compelling history of, I'm just going to read it, you know, verbatim, black athletes speaking politically. No, I mean, what's the problem with that? Everybody else in their mama gets to do it. But see, Esau, Edom, he has this, uh, this, this this narrative complex. And he always wants to say, well, look at what we gave you. It's all over the, uh, YouTube. You can go and say how many, see how many videos. Well, well, look, you get to live in America. You better off. You was better off in slavery. At least you didn't have to live in Africa. You see, at least you wasn't killing each other and being savages as Indians. Look, look, you've got $300 million. I don't see how you could, could be complaining about anything. Shut up and dribble, nigga. Do you see it? Shut up and dribble. A three, was it a three-part Showtime documentary? Oh, I didn't know it was a documentary. I may want to go see it. It might piss me off. Series, all right, exclusive, produced by LeBron James. <laughs> they call him King. And see, uh, he, he's another Bojangles. That's all he is. Slock you. I don't know. I don't know what the hell that was all about. I couldn't find Bojangles by LeBron James. I don't. I wasn't talking to you. They always listen and see. We already know. That's why they're gonna come in like a flood. Apostle Tahar went into it, man. He went into it earlier today. Some of us are gonna have to become martyrs. All right. You know that's a that's a whole nother lesson right there. Let's see. Let's see. He rebukes those who criticize outspoken athletes by showing how basketball stars speak up. Uh, 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 as uh, helped improve the NBA and America itself. Now, ain't, uh, you can't improve America. That's what that's what Nero wants to do. D what's his slogan? Slogan. You know, a slogan. I said that's two different words mixed together. <laughs> Salakia. You know, make what make America great again. He talk about bringing bringing back uh, firing squads and uh, and what guillotines? Huh? It's all in the scriptures. Some of this. Some of us may have to go through this, man. As a matter of fact, it, it, it's, as it is written, so shall it be done. You know, I hope it's, I hope it's not me, but if it is, so be it. You know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> Shut up and dribble. Let's go here. I got a couple more. I typed in that word goy. Think about this. It said, This right here says it's the... 1948 or n-word right and we all know the n-word really is not a it's it's it was made into a, a derogatory term but it's not it's in the scriptures okay going into that word goy it really means cattle 
And see, and that, and this is what Esau Edom does. He flips things around. Now, I did a lesson, I guess it was a, about a week ago, and it was, it was this uh, famous uh, rabbi, we'll say it like that, rabbi, right, that was talking to, you know, his people or whatever and told them, don't be goyistic. And goy means cattle. So how the hell could that be the ish N word? You see how they mind screw you? Do you see what they've done? Okay. Deuteronomy 28 verse 44. He shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him all these banks. You know, and you walk in these banks, man. You walk in these banks and these damn bank managers and tellers or whatever. Man, they act like if this is like the. The most important job that they could ever do or whatever. It act like it's their damn money. And it's, and it's, they, uh, they need your whole life story to get a check cashed. Okay? And they act like they don't want to give you no damn, give you what you've uh, earned. Not to mention uh, the taxes and all that. Elder Malcolm went into it just the other day. It's, it's, a, a, it's against their own laws to, to even pay taxes. But people have what been unalived over that, man. See, he shall lend, he shall be the head and thou shall be the tail. But the end of this age, the end of this world is coming soon enough. The water you how about Shimei was shy. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee, shall overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Now, now, now what's niggas doing? Huh? Now what are they doing? Dancing around like Mr. Bojangles. Now they are a toy walking around in, in uh, women's apparel, a maid's clothing, making jokes, talking about, you know, they swallowed. We'll just leave it like that. See, a bunch of moes and degenerates. Hmm? And shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkeneth not. Unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded. He, he told us he's you do this. You'll get this. If you do this, you'll get that. Huh? Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Who? Wh where the seed come from? Come from the man. All right. But the queen of heaven spirit, you saw, let's, here, let's go here. I had something else pulled. Look, 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 like a wild bull in a net. The children, everybody, everybody. <laughs> what we got here? Mr. Bo, Sammy, da Sammy Davis Jr. You know, Mr. Bo Jangles. It's all here. Look, look, look at this. So jump so high then he would lightly touch down this nigga man and he, he could jump so high. so high then he would lightly touch down <laughs> Jake man I met him in a it's disgusting See, it's disgusting, man. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. My goodness. Let's go here. Wisdom of Solomon, fifth chapter. And seeing the multitudes, all right, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, what did he say? Verse three. This is red letters. You have a shy speaking, Salakia. Let me grab some water. So lock you for that. All right. Verse three. Blessed are the poor in spirit. What? Blessed are the poor in spirit. You see, Jacob's full of spirit. They have a zeal, but not a, according to knowledge. See, that's the that's the issue. That's the issue right there. Not studying and not understanding. Just believing your enemy. Just verbatim. Huh? Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. See that? Blessed are the what? The meek. 
they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Do you see that right there? Okay. Do you see that? That's the under Slokia. That's Matthew chapter verse five. You know, I said wisdom of Solomon. I got that pulled up right there. Okay. See, blessed are them, the meek of the earth, man. The head shall be the tail, right? Ain't that what the scripture said? See, everything going to get turned right side up. People like to say upside down, but see, right, right now things are upside down. The scripture said everything is out of course. See, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. James 2 verse 13, for he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. See, against judgment. Jeremiah 10 and verse 16, the portion of Jacob, it's not like them for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. But hold on now. Didn't they invent everything? All these pictures and then the light bulb and, and uh, they, they even got the nerve to say they invented electricity. How the hell are you going to invent electricity? It, it, it naturally exists. You could put this, I'm, I'm a bit of a nerd, you know, I do all kinds of electrical work and stuff like that. I'm a nerd with it, okay? But I'm going to tell you this, you could put dissimilar metals in, in some wet soil and measure it and it's got a voltage across it. You can, uh, uh, you can witness electricity coming down from the skies in the form of lightning. But this devil is so proud, he's so proud of himself. Read the book of Obadiah. He's so proud that he said he invented electricity. This, this, this nigga said he invented water. He invented air. He, I, I am, I'll be, I'm going to be like the most high. Oh boy. You know, I invented this, and the, but, but come to find out, if you do just a little bit of research, you'll see that Jake it is, in fact, the former of all things. All things. You know, even going back to what? The creation. What did he say? Let us. Let us make them in our image. Yeah, and Yahweh, and Yahweh, what he saw that it was good, right? He gave Yahweh shot a blueprint. It's best if you read the Bible. But if you have no understanding, that's that. Wisdom of Solomon, fifth chapter. Verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such has afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. Do you see that? Subject to payments. Sing us one of those songs of Zion. Shut up and dribble. See that? Uh, Santa Claus is, is white and so is Jesus. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you not see this? That, and that same uh, Edomite chick, she, uh, uh, she, that's the same one. What's it named? Megan Kelly. All right. Shut up and dribble. Verse two, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. What the meek and the lowly. Huh? So far beyond all they look for and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. This is he. Whom we had sometimes in derision and a what does that word proverb again? A proverb of reproach. Like a toy. See that? Like a toy. You know, and then they go, then they go, when they see these things, see this? See that toy? And he, look, he got to where he, he got to where he, he loved him. They was having a good time together. Nigga, did you forget that you, you were nothing more than a slave and a toy to this damn Edomite? And she was a hoe, Salakia. See that? And then, and then both of them are moes. Okay? You already know what it is. It's just straight folly, man. See? Let's move on back here. We fools account of his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he? This is, this is, how is he numbered? 
amongst the children of this. How, who, how the hell is these the uh, uh, black and brown people? Who the hell is that? I thought they was nobodies. We made them a song. I thought I thought all they was good for was uh was was, was sex and, and sports, huh? And uh and dancing and singing. I thought that's oh my goodness, what's going on here, huh? How was he numbered amongst the children of of the Most High Yahweh? How was his lot amongst the what the saints? And what are the saints patiently waiting for? You already know what it is, hmm? Hmm. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us. And the son of righteousness rose not upon us. You, you, you threw. You finished. Huh? Should have read this before, but I'll read it now. They abhor me. They flee far from me and spare not to spit in my face. And that's what they do constantly all the time. Not to mention what? They are, they are the accuser of the brethren day and night. See, look, 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 look what they're doing now. Look, look at what they're doing now. When Esau created niggas, man, you Bentley Fonsworth and you Mr. Bojangles. Huh? Huh? You already see it. I'll leave it right there. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles. And the elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from each and every day, daily, man. All right. And the healthy shall to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincere. The black face. You see that? That, that, that Judy Garland, 80, 84, she, the black face and all that. You, why do you think, uh, what did I call it? The Victorian area or what? Uh, era or whatever. You know what? They, you, now our women, you know what they, you know, what, uh, let me, you see my mind's going so fast, man. Okay. You know what they would do? They'd wear these dresses, you know, that uh, would mimic a big ass, uh, you know, a big old boot tie, gluteus maximus. You already know what I'm talking about. It would mimic that. Why? Because they wanted to look that way. They knew it was attractive. Now you got our women uh, getting BBLs, man. <sighs> this place has got to go. Now we see why the flood had to come, right? Man, every chance you get, chant this place down. Come Yasharala and Wa Abai Babal. Boom! Shalom.